सुधीर प्रताप सिंह चौरन चरण तो ये नहीं सुधीर चारण सिंह चरण सुधीर प्रताप सिंह प्रताप सिंह चरण चरण प्रताप सिंह इज फादर्स टेम नो सर इट्स इट्स काइंड ऑफ अ मिडिल नेम यस सर अच्छा ओके योर योर फ्रॉम जोधपुर द फादर इज एडिशनल ये रिटायर्ड एज एडिशनल सुपरिटेंडेंट ऑफ यस सर इट्स वाज स्टेट पुलिस सर्विस यस सर नाउ start with your uh, little background your uh, rajasthan no rajasthan what are the main uh, policing challenges let us say not development police law and order challenges uh, uh, you and visa region wise you can say the western maharashtra uh, west rajasthan east rajasthan the bordering uh, punjab border like that you can say the challenges for police sir in uh in terms of geographical uh, distribution uh, starting from the western part of rajasthan since uh, it's very sparsely populated so the police resources are not uh, adequate enough to cover the entire area we have shortage of no, police i'm saying the challenges i mean there there this tax mix point how to meet those challenges i'm not talking about how to meet i'm saying what are the challenges sir uh, the recent challenges that we are seeing is uh, influx of uh, drug trafficking across the border is it recent or i suppose it is since the since the independence i suppose it is sir however we are seeing that recently the usage of new technology such as drone has become prominent in uh, dropping these uh, shipments across border uh, secondly we are also seeing organized crime in uh, bordering areas of punjab uh, we have seen the rise of lawrence bishnoi gang in rajasthan uh thirdly sir in terms of uh, new cyber crimes that we are seeing there are uh, areas in rajasthan bordering haryana we are seeing that it has become a hub of uh, cyber criminals to uh, uh, to commit crimes across the country using internet sir so these challenges i can think of okay now your background is you have that mm, law yes sir Uh, so what is the what is rti and how was it i mean there was a controversy 2 3 years ago what was it about so the right to information act uh, enforces a legal right for citizens to know the uh, actions of the government of the officials it uh, was brought in as a response to a campaign led by uh, jan bhagidari abhiyan in uh, mazdoor kisan shakti sangathan Uh, from rajasthan itself uh, led by led by aruna roy uh, sir uh, when was it sir when it, was it passed sir 2004 i believe sir i i'm sorry sir okay now what was the controversy about 2 or 3 4 years ago 2 3 years ago there was a huge controversy all over the country sir so there there was an amendment which was brought in under the rti act uh, according to which the status of the chief information commissioner was brought in line only chief information commissioner only sir uh, as far as i can recall sir it was about uh, the status of chief information commissioner uh, and, which was equivalent and, to and 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 uh, it provided that the and other commissioners and, also and other commissioners sir uh, why i mean what is the problem so the problem earlier was that the status earlier was that they were given a status mm-hmm. equivalent to the uh, supreme court judges no they were given status equivalent to the election commission of india election i'm uh, sorry by paripasu they were also equivalent to the supreme court judges yes sir. Uh, that is paripasu that is Pari- not directly okay sir. a is equal to b b is equal to c so a is equal to c yes sir like that yes, yes then sir. go ahead however what has been done is that now the union government has been given the power to determine their service conditions and to determine their pay uh, presently sir so there is a uh, fear that the independence of the uh, information commissioner has been watered down because of this amendment sir yeah, any last week question uh, what is the reason because there are a lot of complaints about the functioning of the commission that they are not doing uh, not only the central what is the state commissions so they are not doing what they should do they are not they are supposed to do by law why was the why the people are not happy still with the functioning sir uh, there is an issue of large pendency with state information commissions 
at the same time there is also an issue of uh, state information commission uh, enforcing their punishment in case where officials have been found negligent in enforcing the right to information uh, rights of the citizens sir these two thank you okay sudhir uh, can you tell me some principles of natural justice uh, sir principles of natural justice starts with audi ultram partum uh, that means right to a fair hearing secondly there is nemo judex in causa sua which says no one should be a judge in their own case third sir uh, there is a uh, requirement of giving a reasoned order in cases of uh, adjudication these three principles sir i can think of okay uh, when an act becomes a crime what is the dividing line sir an act becomes a crime when it fulfills the two criteria that is it should be carried out with the required intention that is mens rea and that it should result into a uh, what we say is actus reus that the offense uh, the action which has been uh, declared as illegal by the statute these two should be combined only then an act will commit an act will become a crime sir good mm. <coughs> when a contract is complete at what point sir a contract uh, is completed when the acceptance as uh, with regard to the person who is offering when the acceptance reaches when is uh, when acceptance is set into motion as regard to the person who is giving acceptance the contract is complete when the acceptance is re uh, reaches to the person who is offering okay uh, your second preference is ips yes sir so this three criminal laws which have been amended can you tell me three positive points about this laws Yes, three. Sir, starting with uh, the long-standing demand that there has to be victim participation in the process of adjudication, so that their uh, uh, say, their rights are also ensured. Uh, in this present new laws, victim participation has been ensured. Secondly, sir, a few crimes which needed to be decriminalized have been uh, taken off the statute. For example. section 377 of ipc so thirdly since uh, it we are seeing a digital age it has introduced a uh, videography of uh, investigation process so that uh, these can be taken as evidence in uh, trial process and it also ensures that the accused rights are also protected by having a videographic uh, videography done of the crime scene sir these three positive things i can think of sir okay uh, what is your view about increasing the limit of police custody earlier it was limit was 15 days yes sir now it has been increased so what is your view is a positive step or a retrograde step sir uh, in my opinion it is a retrograde step because uh, police custody Uh, earlier the limit was 15 days now it has been increased up to 60 and in some cases 90 days also yes we may see as a result of this that uh, there are going to be cases of police excesses committed in uh, in the period of custody uh, there is also <coughs> a scenario where the uh, investigation itself would amount to punishment where a person has to spend a lot of time behind the bars in police custody these reasons i think uh, entail that this is not a very positive step in terms of liberty of accused sir okay about the sedition uh, some op opinion uh, are like this that government whatever took away with the right hand gave back with the left hand rajdroh has been replaced by deshdroh and equally susceptible to misuse sir the view uh, arises from the fact that uh, 
at one hand we have taken away the sedition from the statute book but on the second hand we have introduced rajdro with uh, terms which are not properly defined within the act itself by having vaguely uh, written uh, uh, terms it gives a sort of scope of misuse for police officials to use it and which goes against the liberty of uh, people sir okay my last question you are fond of science fiction yes sir have you heard of isaac asimov yes sir isaac asimov was a uh, i believe he was one of the pioneers of robotics sir uh he gave three laws of uh, what are the three laws of robotics <coughs> sir i can recall one that uh, that machines should not harm humans in any case uh, this was one of the very fundamental laws sir that he gave okay uh can you tell me one science fiction movie which has done to which has happened sir uh, there was a movie uh, uh, starring oscar isaac it was about artificial intelligence coming true uh, the movie title was her presently we are seeing that uh, la large language model such as chat gpt has enabled that we can have a conversation with a machine the basic premise of that movie has been brought to presently sir okay that is one but there is one relating to pandemic calls yes sir the movie's name was contagion uh, mm. it talked about specifically sars covid uh, virus spreading across the world and causing large level of casualties yeah sir. i was expecting that okay dada so here you have done your bsc in physical sciences yes sir will you elaborate what are the topics sir uh, physics physical sciences as opposed to any other honors degree involved all three subjects physics chemistry and maths sir so, so i did not specialize in one particular subject but i was uh, learning all three sir okay uh, continuing from where you were asked from about the principles of natural justice yes sir two cardinal principles that is uh, there has to be reason to be given for the order or something which has been said against the accused and the uh, second that the person must be heard and third principle was uh sir that no one should be a judge in his own case so the last two principles that is the the uh, opportunity of being heard should be given and the reason order do you find that we are adhering to these principles so far as uh, delivery system is concerned in, in view of the large pendency of cases sir large pendency of cases uh, does affect a person's right to avail justice uh but pendency in itself does not mean that people are not getting a right to be heard uh, it is a problem which must be tackled mm. on uh, what speed sir about the reason order generally sir we have seen that there has been reasoned order in judiciary given however there have been instances where reasoned order was not given there have been number of instances where the the supreme court has scolded reprimanded not only the 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 judicial magistrate but even the judges of the high court yes sir so how this can be corrected sir there has to be a judicial discipline within the uh, judiciary itself hmm. the lower judges and the judges at high court must adhere to the principle that they must not exceed their jurisdiction they must ensure that the principles of law which are relevant in that particular case must be adhered to uh but the cases that you pointed out generate from the fact that lower courts or high court have been exceeding their jurisdiction and not applying law about properly about the language also about the reason and order also about yes, the sir. content thereof because of which the supreme court had to say that send them to the judicial academy send them have a standard operating <coughs> procedure give them the further training on that okay now one of the principle of this natural justice also says that no one can be judge in their own case with respect to the collegium of selection do you find any 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 do you derive any strength from it or you find that no there is nothing sir i think uh, there is definitely an issue of uh, judges appointing judges from their own community mm -hmm. uh, collegium is an extra constitutional body mm -hmm. and i believe it is long due that we have reforms in collegium system sir so you do you agree that the present system should continue or with some reform or there should be absolutely different system of 
सर इन माय पर्सनल ओपिनियन सर आई थिंक द एन जी एस सी वॉज अ सुटेबल ऑल्टरनेटिव इट कुड हैव बीन रिटेन विथ द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया बींग गिवन कास्टिंग वोट दैट वुड हैव इंश्योर ट्रांसपेरेंसी इन अकाउंटेबिलिटी इन अपॉइंटमेंट प्रोसेस now these days the enforcement directorate has been in the news actions by them where from do they draw that their authority sir i believe it's from the prevention of money laundering act uh, prevention of money laundering act said to be the draconian law why sir uh, presently the issue is that the bail condition under prevention of money laundering act has been made very stringent mm -hmm. the accused has to at the condition of bail itself prove that there is a prima facie case not made against him mm -hmm. so that burden of proof is very high very good hmm. so burden of proof is on the accused yes, not sir. on the prosecution yes and that uh, makes it difficult you have said in your uh, hobby that uh, you have been youth volunteers in rural development project of you and volunteers yes sir can you name some of the organization which are active government organization which are active in rural development youth rural development uh sir i think nabard is one organization no, no, no. you okay which uh, no. works in the sector of rural Any development specific organization i'm sorry sir nehru yuvak mandir it's, it's absolutely rural based youth organization it's a government organization okay. there are other <coughs> organizations also volunteer organizations <coughs> not in the rural sector but just a <coughs> that you have nss then you have bharat scout and guide yes, uh, etc <coughs> now what is the role of solicitor general of india sir solicitor general is the second highest law officer in mm. our country he is mm. the uh, leader uh, advocate from Who the, is the first sir. law office attorney general sir are you sure sir yes sir attorney general is the highest lead law officer from uh, the government side sir Where? Attorney General of India. Where? Attorney General is where? In the central or in the cent state? Sir, in have a look at yes. that. Okay. But what is the role? The of the highest officer. Highest officer. The role is to represent government in cases across the country in various forums from Supreme Court to High Court. Mm -hmm. So that is the role. Recently, there was a comment uh, by the Chief Justice of India that what should be the role of the Solicitor General of India? What Palki Wala said. when the solicitor general of india his role has to be found can you recollect it i'm sorry sir i have not read it he acts as a bridge between the government and the people he is the first representative of the people i mean that is okay <coughs> now you see uh pressure group lobby and interest group they they impact the the government policies etc in the same times it has been said observed that uh, a few valid laws had to be suspended withdrawn give me three instances of this in the recent times when this interest group have been had had impact on such laws so can i take a moment yeah, to yeah. think about it yes sir i can think of two instances mm -hmm. one was the recent uh, protest by trucker unions mm -hmm. uh, against the mm -hmm. homicide uh, the provisions regarding homicide by rash or negligent act mm -hmm. in the new bhartiya mm -hmm. nyay samhita mm -hmm. second was the protest by uh, kisan unions mm -hmm. against the farm laws sir mm -hmm. these were two instances where valid laws had to be uh, rolled back because of protest from pressure groups uh, you can say the professionals uh, doctors in their case the punishment yes sir it is has been has been reduced to 2 years yes sir. reduced to 2 years okay thank you sir thanks uh, so sudhir uh, i must uh, commend you for your perseverance <coughs> thank you sir this is uh, your eighth attempt yes sir and third interview yes sir how did you do in the earlier two interviews uh sir yes. the earlier two interviews i believe from my side i did well i scored 165 in the first interview and in second interview my score oh. dipped to 146 came down yes sir okay january 22 yes sir what happened can you understand or <coughs> give us some idea some arguments or 
Sir, I think uh, in my second interview where I lacked was to understand what was the intent of the question being asked. Okay. So, okay. Uh, they were asking me one particular thing, but I couldn't address that thing directly. Would you like to share what was it that <laughs> kind of brought you down? Sir, one of the questions that was asked was by one of the panel member that if I make you the head of Taliban, how are you going to get recognition from different countries for your... Uh, Wow. Uh, government. Very difficult. <laughs> I was prescribing what should be done by Taliban uh, to make it an acceptable government. However, yeah. I did not address the question directly that what exact steps I will take in order to get recognition from different countries, sir. Okay. This was one of the questions I think where argument went on for a pretty long time. Oh, okay, I yes. see. All right, but I am sure Abki Bar Uspar. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I am sure you will do it. Uh, you, you have fantastic perseverance. You have written exams seven times, yes, including sir. this time. Yes, sir. Always law? Yes, sir. Wow. So your knowledge of law after you did 2017 yes, sir. <clears throat> is very good. Thank you, sir. Okay. I wanted to ask you about uh, uh, Russia-Ukraine war. What exactly is happening and who is to be blamed? Sir, presently there is a stalemate uh, that is going on yeah. on the uh, front lines. <coughs> yeah, yeah. We are seeing that the counter-offensive launched by Ukraine has not made uh, much progress on ground. Correct. Uh, I believe it is a complex situation where we cannot arrive at a clear-cut uh, entity to be blamed. Yes, there, there was aggression from side of Russia uh, where they violated the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine. At the same time, what we have seen that since 1990s, the breakup of Soviet Union, NATO has been expanding eastwards. That has given a grievance to the uh, Russian state. and increase its anxiety related to security of its country, sir. There, uh, these reasons, uh, I believe, make it a very uh, complex issue, sir. Okay, that issue, uh, Russian imaginary fear, is something separate, which we need not go there. But uh, is NATO, US and Europe uh, justified in, in confronting Russian aggression not to proceed and not to succeed? What do you think? Sir, uh, <coughs> European <coughs> Union in particular uh, sees supporting Ukraine as an initiative to protect it, its own uh, yes. territory. Yes. Any uh, unpunished Russian uh, adventurism yeah. would further bolster Russian authorities to Correct. carry out activities in future. Sir. Correct. On side of NATO, uh, I believe since NATO gives a security guarantee to European states, and since the aggression of Russia in Ukraine ultimately will endanger uh, European states in future. Right. Thereby, the solidarity shown by US in supporting European countries strengthens NATO and ensures that th this guarantee is held true, sir. All right. Uh, as a law student and having read so much, uh, so many times, you must have also covered international law. Yes, sir. Which seems has failed. In yes. this particular case, including UNSC, uh, they have abdicated their mandate. Now, uh, I mean, you don't fi do you find anything wrong with the West uh, defending their own European Union, uh, you know, uh, not allowing Russia to get away with this first example? First, uh, Soviet Union, uh, they want Soviet Union days. Putin wants to go back three decades, turning the clock back three decades. It's a very dangerous idea. Uh, whatever may be his dream or aspiration or merit, that part is uh, debatable. But he has taken action now. He's not just arguing and talking in theory in international law. He has used force, and which is an absolute uh, violation of the international principles of law and peace. So what can the West do uh, sh short of uh, supporting Ukraine? Is there anything else that the West and the NATO can do? to not allow Russia to succeed? <coughs> Sir, uh, may I take a moment? Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah.
Sir, I think another uh, way through which NATO and uh, European Union can support Ukraine is through economic sanctions. Which has been done already, but not working. Yes, sir. Putin is too clever or smart. You know, it's a huge resource-rich country. Yes, sir. I mean, he can delay the war continuation for a decade and still survive. Yes, sir. Anyway, we'll let's leave it at that. Just last question I want. You have any understanding of a definition of the word a Hindu rasht? <coughs> how, how do you understand? I mean, as per law or as per your understanding, whatever. <coughs> Sir, as, by, as per my understanding from what I have read in commentaries in newspaper, uh, a Hindu Rashtra would entail that it is a country where we have an official religion, uh, Hin Hinduism as the official religion. And Hindus being the dominant community uh, get the r due rights that they deserve in terms of being a ma majority community, sir. So that definition I can think okay, of, Okay, so that will definitely be challenged in the Supreme Court because it will be fiddling with the basic structure and basic structure is definitely not bringing official religion. You think Supreme Court as a speculative futuristic understanding, would Supreme Court knock it down if that happens? Sir, uh, Supreme Court in S.R. Bomai case has held that secularism is one of the essential and basic feature of our constitution. Correct, right, 94 I think, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. <coughs> uh, uh, bringing an official religion would go against that uh, pr principle and therefore gives a ground to Supreme Court to strike it down. Well done, well done. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, sir. You can wait outside, we'll call you back for a few Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Relax. Yes, uh, when is your interview? 8th March, sir. Oh, enough time. So, a lot of time. More than a month now. Okay. So, um, this, year, this year you have taken some box. So, this is my second box. This year. The first box, what are the main thing they said this year? Sir, uh, I was asked to brush up a little more on Rajasthan and law. And overall, they said that uh, uh, delivery is good, confidence is good, uh, no problem at that. So, that was the basic gist of what I got. Sir. Okay, now uh, see, you, uh, but I mean, it is so surprising that you are such beautiful delivery, everything, knowledge is quite well, uh, some improvement obviously, but you are not uh, missing it. I suppose it was the written test type, I mean, that written also may not be anyway. Now, you don't know what is written you have done. Yes. Sir. Uh, this is 275 you have to maximize. Yeah. Now, you can maximize uh, because when, when you get into the 180, 185, 190 category, you have to get into that only then you can sure about the yes, main sir. list. Yes, sir. Now, uh, knowledge, some knowledge, yes, uh, RTI Act, I have a little got confused straight away, equivalent mm -hmm. to the Supreme Court, not equivalent to the Supreme Court judges. Well, to the, uh, the law said yes, about yes, so these are basic things, small things. RTA is a small yes, uh, act, so he said uh, 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 section only. So, he said, yes, so all these things, uh, law something I have been told in times here from sales defense and then laws, a faculty I suppose, tell you. So, you cannot miss on the main, Sarah also said about the main amendments in the IPC, CRPC, Evidence Act, all that. Law, you have to be on your tips. They will, you cannot afford to, because you have a time also. We should, Rajasthan, yes. Rajasthan, uh, so many developmental challenges. Visa vis India, what is the status? The status of women, Rajasthan, uh, infanticide, and so there are some places where it still goes on. So, all the Rajasthan, the Haryana nearby, Kampanchayat, yes, and all that. Yes, sir. Then, uh, the de various indices, uh, the especially women centric. Visavi India and what can be done as a social uh, this thing and um, IPS of course uh, because that could be second option uh, then you can have so many law and order issues, red corridor, left wing extremism uh, of course uh, this is Jharkhand, Bihar, uh, Maharashtra, that place, yes. but uh, Chhattisgarh you have to survive years. And foreign policy, of course, sir asked, uh, uh, the foreign policy, I, you are, I am so surprised, you are asking about who is to be blamed. You straight away go into the question, so what you have to do, I mean, we will, it is a suggestion only, 
listen to the question very intently. What is the purport exactly? This uh, the purport you are uh, you are just said uh, uh, this thing. Uh, you can ask why do they have description about the war? He did ask about the war. He knows who is asking. He knows. He said who is to be blamed? So you have to say straight away, sir. First, sir, uh, this is uh, you can uh, because of that uh, all that two sides. And there probably you have to balance it that uh, nobody can be exceedingly singularly blamed or something. But you are given a little background, no introduction, no conclusion. Say your point, first of all listen to the question intently purport, what you are. So then in your mind's computer frame the most important point first, the second important point, second, third important point, third and three, four main points, sir I want to first submit this second and least I want to submit, third, three, four, stop. You should know how want to stop, how to start and how to stop. Yes sir. No conclusion, nothing. Then uh, he wants to ask him anything, he will ask or I will shift to some other subject. You may not get any time yes. to say your most important point. Yes. So that is of course you can practice also little bit before you have enough time and your voice delivery uh, but still I will uh, before a mirror uh, you can practice a little bit. How to uh, point was break them immediately then it gives an impression that you are considered view you are not just saying uh, as a heat of the moment and then thinking when you saying that should not happen you are thought through ever, everything you are now saying it logically sequentially yes, most sir. important point first like that so the little bit practice okay. and uh, you see you know knowledge is vast internet you prepare a b c they will ask d f so they know this thing and uh, so and maybe after a th two, three weeks you can come to us or any other uh, to see how much pony improvement you have done. But you should get in this year. This you cannot wait further now. You are already and you are such a present personality, such a Thank this is sir. people people they would like to have yes, to put the administration in the hands of people like you. Yes. So you get a natural sympathy. But you have to maximize that. Yes. In cash that. Yes. So, uh, we will uh, all our best wishes and uh, blessings. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Sudhir, you are absolutely uh, right material to get into the IS yes. or top services. Everything is in your favor. Everything. So, but one cardinal rule is never get into on a sensitive, controversial topic, uh, kind of an argument which gets stretched. You have to find a way in which you come out of that so that the topic moves to something else yes, sir. Uh, based on your own experience. Uh, there are, these are many sensitive topics, you know, you can have an opinion uh, supported by your argument. The strength of your argument will convince the panel how well placed or well read you are. But uh, the other person panel, if he's also arguing equally strongly, you find a via media. I don't know if chairman has some advice on this. Maybe he can advise. No, I mean, you suppose you are having a view, considered opinion. You are given sequentially, and then <coughs> you say, "No, I think it should have been, should be A, B, C, something else." He said, okay, "Sorry, sir. What I said was based on my experience and consideration. That could be other views. I agree, but don't change." He says, "I will now change." No. Because you have thought through the entire thing. Yes, sir. But uh, very politely, sir, polite, you are very polite. Politeness, yeah. polite, humility, humility, humility. Yes. You should get this is my only base of you know. Uh, it's my part to be there, could be other parts of you. Get out of that. The mess, get out of that. Sir, do you think I was not uh, humble at No, no, I am saying I did get it. You are very humble. Very humble very humility, no, very no, nice. What what is emphasizing? Don't enter into an argument. Sir, uh, also, so, if you can find yeah, a way. Yeah. <laughs> sir, did I, uh, in for example, you are absolutely correct in your answers. Okay. You know, uh, very well uh, responded. No, no, you have no, no such problem. Uh, Only say he just giving a caution. Okay. You are yeah, not I, nothing like that. I will have a positive point because I did try to confuse you on Solicitor General and yes, it only you held your ground yes, well. Barring RTI, your concepts on law is quite good. Thank you. Sir. I mean, that will hold you through. So that is what I, that you held your ground. Come to us after two, three weeks, you still have time, you can see how much money, but you have already evolved. But yes, sir. just to check. Thank you, sir. Thank okay. you. All, All the best. Thank you.